Hi guys, this is Miss Hubble. Today we're going to be working on math topic 14. This is a new topic. It's all about algebra generating and analyzing number patterns. So our lesson today is lesson one, number sequences. Our learning target is I can use a rule to complete a number pattern and I can name features of a number pattern. Basically that just means we can describe the number pattern. So let's take a look at the solve and share. That's on page 733. And read. Look at the rules and starting numbers given. What are the next six numbers in each pattern? Tell how you decided. Describe features of the pattern. Solve these problems any way you choose. So let's look at the table that they've given us. They've given us a starting number column. Next to the starting number, they've given us a rule. The rule is just the instructions for how we're going to make the pattern. And then they told us they want the next six numbers in the pattern after that starting number. So let's see if we can do this. So if I start with the number 18, and the rule is add 3. That just means I take that starting number, add 3. Well, 18, 19, 20, 21. The next number in my pattern is going to be 21. When I'm writing numbers in a pattern, I'm going to separate them with a comma. Okay? The next number in the pattern comes from applying the very same rule, add 3. So I put the 21 on my brain, 22, 23, 24. Then I add 3. 24 plus 3 is 27. 27 plus 3 is 30. 30 plus 3 is 33. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I need one more. 33 plus 3 is 36. Hopefully you saved enough room. I didn't. All right, let's look at our next starting number, 17. Our rule now is going to be add 2. So I say 17, and I add 2, and I get 19. Plus 2, 21. Plus 2, 23. Plus 2, 25. Plus 2, 27. One more. Plus 2, 29. That one was easier. Let's try the next. Our starting number now is 40. It says it wants us to subtract 4. So I say 40 minus 4. 36. There's two ways I can do that. I can either put the 40 on my brain and I can count back 4. Or I can stack up the 40 and the 4, and I can regroup and do that if I like, whichever way is best. I'm going to do it mentally, but if you want to pause and generate the next 4 by subtracting, you can certainly do that. All right, so after a 36, I subtract 4, and I get 32. Then I subtract 4, and I get 28. Then I subtract 4, I get 24, subtract 4, I get 20, subtract 4, I get 16, let me check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, okay, I got 6. They said, what are the next 6 numbers in each pattern? Check, we did that. Then it says, tell how we decided. Well, how did we know what the next 6 numbers were going to be? we had to use the rule. So where it says, tell how you decided, you need to write your answer. I had to apply the rule to figure out which number was next in the pattern. Okay, now the next part is for sure the hardest part of this lesson. So 
hard, but it's the hardest because the rest is pretty easy. They want us to describe features of the patterns. A feature of a pattern is just something you can describe about that pattern. Some of them are a little obvious, some of them are a little more difficult. There's usually more than one feature of a pattern. So let's start with uh, number one. That was where we did 18 and added three. Let's look at the pattern. We had 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. One feature is that this is an increasing pattern. I knew it was going to be increasing because it was an adding rule. Another feature of the pattern, look at the number 18. 18 is divisible by 3, meaning 3 is a factor of 18. And since 18 is a multiple of 3, and I'm adding 3 every time, every number in the pattern, I'll use the symbol for number, I hope you don't mind, every symbol in the pattern is a multiple of three. What about odd and even? Let's look at those numbers. 18's even, but 21's odd. 24's even, 27 is odd. 30 is even, 33 is odd. 36, oh, it looks like it alternates even, odd. The pattern alternates between even and odd numbers. Okay? So we, we described three features of uh, that pattern. Let's look at the next. Number two was, uh, that was 17, and we added two each time. So it went from 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. Well, again, it's an adding rule. So this is another increasing pattern. Is 17 a multiple of 2? No, it's not. That means none of them. Since we're adding 2 every time, none of these are multiples of 2. So I can't say that. I do notice that they are all odd numbers. Let's look at number 3. Number 3, our starting number was 40. And we subtracted 4 every Time. So it was 36, 32, 28, 24. Well, is this an increasing pattern? No, this time the rule is subtract. So this is actually a decreasing pattern. Okay, let's look at maybe multiples or factors. 40 is actually a multiple of 4. And then we subtracted 4 every time. So 36 is a multiple of 4. 32 is a multiple of four. So these are all multiples of four. Then it's, what about uh, odd and even? 40 is even, 36 is even, 32 is even. And because I'm subtracting an even number from even numbers, they're all going to be evens. So we're going to say all evens. So we're done describing features of the pattern. We have done with this one. Let's take a look at our next problem here. Oh, actually, you know what I did was I uh, saved a sample problem for you. It looks like here Rob did the same thing. He got the same answers as us. He's He said his first pattern, they were all multiples of three. Hey, we said that. And then for his second pattern, he said they were all odd. Hey, we said that. And for his third pattern, he said they were all even and they were all multiples of four. We said both of those. Good job, guys. All right, let's look at our look back problem here. It says, create two patterns that use the same rule, but start with different numbers. Identify a feature of each pattern. For example, tell whether the numbers are odd, even, alternate. Okay, so we need to make two patterns, same rule, different starting numbers, and then we need to tell a feature of each pattern. We could do that. They didn't give us the rule. It looks like we can make up our own rule, so that's pretty cool. Let's do that. We did um, adding and subtracting. We didn't do any multiplying. Why don't we say our rule is multiply 
by 2. And it says it wants us to do different starting numbers. So let's start with the starting number 1. Now let's start with the starting number 4. Let's start with 4. I like that. Now every time we're going to multiply by 2. So let's say 4 times 2 and we get 8. 8 times 2 and we get 16. 16 times 2 and we get 32. 32 times 2 and we get 64. Let's stop there. It didn't tell us how far we had to go with the pattern, so... Let's start with a different number. We started with an even number the first time. Let's try. Let's try a five this time. We'll start with an odd number. Now, do you predict that our pattern is going to be identical? We have the same rule. I don't know. Let's see. So five times two is ten. Ten times two is twenty. 20 times 2 is 40. 40 times 2 is 80. Okay, we had the same rule, but because we had a different starting number, our pattern looked completely different. Now, it says identify a feature of each pattern. So what is going to be a feature of our first pattern? Let's see. 8, 16, 32, 64. Are they all even, all odd, or do they alternate? These are all even numbers. Do you know why? We're multiplying these numbers by 2, which means all of these numbers are a multiple of 2. Anything that's a multiple of 2 and 2 goes into it, it's going to be an even number. We know that already from fractions. Let's look at our next one. We had 5, 10, 20, 40, 80. Well, they're all evens except for the five. They don't alternate between odd and even. They're all even after the five, but the five isn't even. So our feature here is after the starting number, all even numbers. All right, let's keep moving on. So you're going to look at the visual learning video on Pearson Online. I do want you to note in your visual learning there that they give you the definition of a rule. Look under B. You'll see it says a rule is a mathematical phrase that tells how the numbers or shapes are related. So you're going to need to know that definition of a mathematical rule. So make sure you keep that in mind. Now, beneath your visual learning section, after you've gone through that video, there is a convince me problem. So let's look at that convince me problem together. It says, can you use the rule add four to create a different pattern with all odd numbers? Well, the pattern in the visual learning video was uh, three to seven to eleven to thirteen. Those were all odd numbers. Can we create a different pattern with all odd numbers? Well, they had to use an odd number to start to get all odd numbers. So I'm thinking if we want to get all odd numbers, we're going to have to start with an odd number too. But I don't want to start with three because then it's not this a different pattern. It's the same pattern. So let's see. What's another odd number that's not three? Can't start with 7, 11, or 13. How about we start with 1 or 5? doesn't matter. Let's try starting with 1. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is... Thirteen. Oh my goodness, I got that one wrong over there. My bad. 
All right, so can we use the rule to create a different pattern with all odd numbers? My answer is yes, period. But then it says explain. We just had to use a different starting number. If we just started with an even number, would it have worked? No, it wouldn't have worked. If we would have started with an even number, they all would have been even, and we wanted all odd. So it wouldn't have just been any different starting number. We had to choose a different odd starting number. Okay? Let's keep rolling. Alrighty then. Let's look at our guided practice together. I encourage you, please, to read that another example. It's handy. It's a subtraction um, pattern, so it's something good to look at. For guided practice, it says, Rudy's rule is add 2. He started with the number 4. So 4 is my starting number. There it goes. And wrote the numbers below. Which pattern does not belong in Rudy's pattern? It looks like Rudy made an error, so let's figure this out. So if we add 2 every time, we say 4 plus 2, and it gives us 6. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. 8 plus 2 actually gives us 10. It doesn't give us 9. 10 plus 2 gives us 12. Which number didn't belong? 9 didn't belong. Which number did not belong? 9 did not belong. It wants us to explain because, well, first of all, we were adding 2 and we started with an odd number. 9 is not an odd number, but also because 8 plus 1 equals 9. 8 plus 2 does not equal 9. Okay, let's look at the next. We definitely explained. Continue the pattern. Describe a feature of the pattern. So we want to continue, then we want to describe a feature. So our rule is subtract 6. 48 minus 6 gave us 42. Minus 6 gave us 36, minus 6 gave us 30, minus 6 gave us 24. So 24 minus 6 is going to give us 18, minus 6 gives us 12, minus 6 gives us Six. If you're not as swift at subtracting as me, that's okay. I'm old person. I can subtract quickly. If you want to pause and subtract without me and then check with me, that's okay. Then it says it wants us to describe a feature of the pattern. So let's look at our numbers. 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, 6. Well, one feature of the pattern Oh my goodness. Let's see. 6 goes into 48, and then we subtracted by 6 every time. Every single one of these is a multiple of 6. So these are all multiples of the number 6. Anything else you noticed? They were all even numbers. Good job. All right, guys. Let's see if that was the last guided practice problem. It sure was. So you are going to be working on the independent practice today yourself. Look at the instructions. They want you to continue each pattern, and they want you to describe a feature of each pattern for this first section. So that's two parts. Continue the pattern first, and then in the space underneath, they want you to describe a feature of each pattern. Just A means just one, just one feature for each pattern. 
evens, odds, alternates between evens and odds. They're all multiples of a number. They're increasing, they're decreasing. Just one pattern feature is fine, okay? I know that you can do it, my friends.